بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله as you can see here I have a new shipment of books this time from Jadid Books USA uh, a reliable uh, bookseller here based in California um, I've already opened up the package before I actually recorded this before however uh, the, the video was extremely shaky so now I'm using a tripod to eliminate that uh, what I want to share with you is how they have bubble wrapped the entire package and this is really appreciated I also want to show you the invoice here where um, I actually requested um, I'll read to you what it's written here uh, the highlighted comment that I requested and then what they wrote so in the comment I said assalamu alaikum please bubble wrap the books to avoid damage in transit Barakallahu feekum. May Allah reward you for your service to deen. And then they wrote here a very kind reply. And it says, double, double, double bubble for our brother. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward them for their generosity and their kindness and uh, their response to this comment. Uh, usually they, they will just ship and they'll cover it with, uh, they'll fill in the extra spaces with this, uh, you know, this type of paper here. So not only did they do that, but they used uh, bubble wrap and they bubble wrapped it twice. Uh, the reason why this is important is because I've had many experiences in the past with bookstores where I order some books and then in the shipment when they arrived, because they didn't have bubble wrap, there wasn't other protective measures uh, in the box, the edges of the books are sometimes bent in sometimes the spine is damaged it, it just really affects the books and to me at that point um, it might not even be worth purchasing the book anyways uh, that is a tip if you ever uh, purchase books always leave a comment uh, say jazakumullah khairan to them for their service and then request them to uh, give bubble wrap and, and that really helps so uh, I want to share with you the books that I bought this time the first one here this book is Kashfu Tamwihat Fi Sharh Razi Ala Al Isharati Wa Tanbihat. So, what this book is, this the author of this book is Imam Al Amidi. He is basically talking about uh, some aspects of Imam Al Razi, who did the commentary of Ibn Sina's Al Isharat Wa Tanbihat. Imam Al Razi did a commentary on it to show, you know, what uh, the philosophers say. Uh, Imam al Amidi had some uh, objections and some, some questions and, and things of uh, what Imam al Razi wrote. So here he writes those objections and says, okay, uh, actually you should have said this or that. So it's kind of a refutation or in addition to what Imam al Razi wrote there. Uh, so the field of that would be Islamic philosophy. The next book we have here is a. Um, a two volume book so this is a two volume book and the title is Jala'ul Qulub Min Al Asda'il Ghainiyya Bi Bayani Ihatatihi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Bil Ulum Al Kawniyya written by the very famous uh, Sayyid Muhammad Ja'far Al Katani Rahimahullah Ta'ala a great uh, Moroccan scholar and Muhaddith so what this book is about is the fact that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa had a lot of knowledge given to him by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What were the limitations of that knowledge? How much knowledge did Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa have? And from the title it seems that uh, Shaykh al-Kittani is saying that Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa was given the knowledge of the kawn, meaning the entire universe and what was in the universe. This was known to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa So this is a topic that many scholars talk about and, and uh, you know they they argue for or against uh, the the limitations. Uh, of course, the entire ghayb only Allah Subhanahu wa Taala knows the ghayb. Uh, and so some scholars would say, since Allah Subhanahu wa Taala knows the ghayb only, then how would Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam know the entire universe? Other scholars would say, whatever is in the universe is a very tiny amount in comparison to the entire ghayb. So still, even if Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did know and it was revealed to him. By Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what is contained in the universe, that doesn't mean that he has ilmul ghayb. So everyone agrees that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam does not have ilmul ghayb. However, what is the limitations or what, what 
is the extent to the uloom of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. We know that he is the greatest of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed him the most. So this book actually goes into that and other topics uh, regarding the universe actually and, and a very uh, interesting understanding uh, basically from the perspective of the mutasawwifin. Then we have a book here. Um, قواعد التدبر الأمثل لكتاب الله عز وجل. Principles in the 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 best principles in regards to pondering the book of Allah subhanahu wa taala, written by Sheikh Abdul Rahman Hassan Habanaka Al Maidani, very great scholar who has written books in various fields. I actually have another book written by him here. Uh, he has a, an exceptional book in Mantiq and um, Logic, Dawabitul Ma'rifa, and he has uh, a uh, Tafsir, uh, he has um, a book on Akhlaq, etc. Really good uh, author, uh, has an exceptional book in Balagha as well, Arabic Rhetoric. This book is about how to ponder over the Quran. So he extracts principles, how to go about a methodical method. Uh, or, or I should say a methodical approach to understanding Quran and he shares principles so that we can apply in our understanding and our pondering over Quran as well so as you can see it's kind of thick as well um, let's see how many pages this is going to be close to 800 pages mashallah the next book by the same author Sheikh Abdul Rahman Hassan Habannaka Al Maidani this book is called Fiqhu Da'wati Ila Allah Wa Fiqhu Nushi Wal Irshad so this is the fiqh or the depth of understanding in regards to calling people towards the path of Allah. Meaning this is the essential and essential work for du'at and those who call towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He gives you principles to be a da'i. Also the fiqh and understanding of how to give advice and guidance to people. How to command good and how to prevent evil. So there are methods to it. It's not just, you know, we, we command good and pre uh, uh, prevent evil in any way we want to do. There, there's an Islamic approach that was taught to us by Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He explores that through Quran and Hadith, uh, looking at previous prophets mentioned in the Quran, how they did da'wah, extracting principles from there so that you and I could understand how to do da'wah for the sake of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. So again, another two volumes written by this author. And finally, uh, the rest of these books are, uh, it's one book actually, if I can line it up here. It's nine volumes. Uh, this is Al-Matalib Al-Aliyah of Imam Fakhruddin Al-Razi. It's one of his uh, magnum opuses. He has more than one. Uh, so this is a really great work in Ilm uh, Al-Kalam or Aqaid written by Imam Al-Razi one of his more detailed works. He has very simple works uh, and then he has extremely detailed works such as this one. So this was, uh, this is actually, I, I believe it's a rare work to find. Uh, it's been printed again in a very extensive uh, format, many volumes, but this is one of the earlier prints of the book. Um, so it's still very clear, uh, laid out very nicely, as you can see here, uh, very legible. So, you know, I, I had to have it because, you know, when you see books in stock, you don't know how long it's going to be there. And once they're out of stock, they may never come back in stock again. Um, so, you know, you, you never want to take that chance. Anyway, this was uh, this book haul, if you will. Uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq to benefit from these books. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase us in our love for the knowledge of Islam and the knowledge of kutub. Uh, as well as uh, bless these authors as well as these bookstores alhamdulillah they're doing a service to deen of course they profit uh, but they choose to disseminate the the great books of islam so this is a service to the entire ummah may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserve them also you know if you would like to purchase some of these books go check out jadid books usa based in california may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward brother jadid and his entire team جزاكم الله خيرا وصلى الله تبارك وتعالى على خير خلق محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين برحمتك يا رحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته